Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. So, you've got your iPhone or iPod Touch and it's giving you problems. Uh, apps crash all the time, or maybe it's freezing up or very slow in its operations, and you're thinking, what can I do? Well, this is a quick tip. Um, what you can do is actually um, check that it restarts well. And to do that, because basically when you press the power button here at the top, and you get this little slider that says that you want to shut it down it doesn't really shut down it basically it's kind of a sleep mode it will record in your telephone or your iPod touch all that it needs that when it starts up it actually starts up in the same mode it was before you really want to have a clean startup how do you do that you just hold the button at the bottom and the bottom and the, the button at the top and don't mind what it says on the screen you're gonna see it shut off here we go it shut off by itself that means you're really in um, you really shut it off basically so you just press the power button once to start it again and wait for the uh, screen to start back into the uh, regular Apple Apple uh, iOS start screen with your icons or whatever in your iPod Touch or iPhone. It's a great little trick. It works on all iPhones and all uh, versions of iPod Touch. Um, it, keep in mind that if you uh, do this trick, it might take several minutes for your iPhone to start up. Don't panic if it doesn't start up in two, three minutes. I've seen devices, uh, especially if you got an older iPhone like this one, can take up to five or six minutes before it's really started up. So, um, you know, Keep in mind it can take, uh, let's say, up to 10 minutes before it gets back, but it will come back. And this kind of clears the memory of everything it was doing before and all the stuff that it should have been running. And uh, it helps a lot. So if your iPhone has uh, all sorts of, you know, fixes all sorts of problems from apps that are crashing to a slow phone, slow response time, uh, also, the fact that you can have uh, intermittent Wi-Fi or um, 3G or LTE connections um, calls crashing in the middle of your call, it just hangs, hangs up. All of these can usually be uh, uh, a sign that your phone is just doing too much at the same time. So, uh, quick tip for iPhone and iPod Touch users because the iPod Touch is basically pretty much an iPhone without the uh, telephone portion and you just wait for the phone to start up and get back into what you were doing uh, with your uh, iOS device also works on an iPad so if you've got an iPad uh, you can try it and um, it should usually uh, help and uh, very often when you do this trick you notice that your phone is actually more responsive uh, afterwards and uh, I've actually applied a little rule that um, I will do this trick about once every week to start my phone from scratch and um, don't worry you don't lose any data while doing that there's uh, absolutely no problem so you just hold the bottom and the top buttons at the same time until it shuts off by itself don't use a slider or anything just wait that it shuts off usually fixes pretty much everything and like I said, as you see here, it can take up to five or ten minutes for your phone sometimes to uh, start up. Depends on the, uh, the iPhone. If you have an iPhone 5, uh, it should be less than a minute or two. If you've got an older iPhone like this 3GS, it can be uh, five, six, seven minutes before it starts back up. On my iPad, it typically takes about a minute, minute and a half. And here you go, it's already started now. So all you have to do is just enter your code and you're back into your regular iPhone usage. So hope this little tip helps if you've got some iPhone problems. Um, it's a cool little thing to know and a lot of people just don't know that it exists. So, uh, so that's one thing to try. Shut off your iPhone uh, manually. So um, if you enjoy these videos, lots of videos on how to do things, how to get help. Mac, PC, iOS, Android, everything. Uh, on this channel is going to be there. So you need help. It's a great channel to be. Click the subscribe button if you have any comments, questions, or maybe you have an error message or a computer problem. Let us know. Send us a private message. We'll try to uh, find a solution if possible. Put a video online 
and not only it's going to help you but it's probably going to help others because we rarely rarely have uh, computer problems that are only one problem uh, most of the time when someone tells me of a computer problem it means that other people will also have that type of problem so thanks for watching hope you come back to easy computer fixes bye bye